the Joanna Newsom shirt for no reason. I did see Joanna Newsom last year though. She was really cool. Hey everyone, CW Music Reviews here. I'm CWD and this is going to be a music review of the new Blank Mass album, World Eater. Blank Mass is a electronic musician best known for being one half of the duo Fuck Buttons. Can't say I've been that familiar with either Fuck Buttons or Blank Mass's material, but I do have a strong appreciation for this kind of electronic music, this form of IDM per se. IDM being a genre that I have quite a bit of love for, whether it's One of Tricks Point Never, Flying Lotus, Aphex Twin, Square Pusher, the list goes on. So when I heard that Blank Mass was going to be dropping a new album, I was definitely intrigued. I was definitely casually interested in what it was that Blank Mass might put on the listener. Plus it was definitely a good start for the month of March, and I definitely saw no reason why I shouldn't check it out. And now that I've listened to this thing for the first time via a first access stream on NPR, I was definitely intrigued and also fancying what it is Blank Mass was doing on this project. This album is about 7 tracks in length, it's about 49 minutes long, so not very many tracks, but also these tracks are pretty big and kind of gargantuan in their own right, but even then, with the longest track being 9 minutes long, Race Who's Negative, I don't feel like it's dragging at all. I feel like I'm actually demanding more from what Blank Mass is doing. You have to have a lot of talent with songwriting to make a 9 minute, 8 minute, 7 minute long song that does not feel like its length at all. As far as the music and the production goes, he's definitely going for something big. Gargantuan. This album is called World Eater, after all. The concoction that Blank Mass is making with this album is something otherworldly and particularly formidable and Leviathan-like, so much so that it swallows entire celestial bodies. And this is introduced with the opening track, John Doe's Carnival of Air. It's got a nice looped piano chord going on for it that's particularly catchy and particularly off-kilter. And eventually you get these jagged vocal samples and this sudden rumbling of percussion going on as it just builds and builds and builds and there's more synth and percussion just overwhelming the ears. And this build is quite fantastic, especially as it guides directly into the next track, Raceus Negative, just perfectly seamlessly. The track Raceus Negative, it's the nine minute cut here and like I said, it doesn't feel like it's long at all, even if it doesn't really have all that much in terms of variation towards it. There's just enough layers and enough intensity to what Racer's Negative is doing that I am enjoying the ride every single time I listen to it. You get this hard-hitting percussion and bass going on, all this staticky-ish layers of synth going on, occasionally some kind of screamed vocal or some kind of distorted guitar of some kind, maybe kind of tremolo pick. There's just so much within this nine minute cut that's just incredible. Blank Mass just knows how to take an idea and really keep it engaging and keep it so fleshed out to the point where you just can't really not think about what's going on. The next track, Please, is a completely different change of pace where it gets a little more low-key at times maybe a little more techno I would believe especially with this looped vocal sample as well as some more looped vocal samples as the track goes on there's some like calm and maybe kind of sort of acid house like synth going on that kind of reminds me a little bit of Aphex Twin and as the track goes on you also get this glass shattering going on that's kind of loop that's particularly interesting and kind of off kilter. The track itself being about seven minutes in length and it definitely once again proves that this length is both justified and doesn't feel like it's seven minutes long. I think that this is pretty much the only low-key and not exactly kind of sort of abrasive moment on the whole album. Not that the album can be abrasive to a detriment but it definitely has moments of abrasion to it, but I dig it. Especially the track, The Rat. Fucking hell, this beat. This really booming, 
drum pattern that is just so overwhelming. The synth is just sounds like straight up cyberpunk. Oh my god. If you played this at the club, you will have potentially created a mosh pit. And the next track, Silent Treatment, is pretty much, I think, the most meticulous track on the whole record. It starts off with this choral vocal sample that, once again, is looped and just keeps going and going for a while before it just gets hard hitting all of a sudden. With like these hidden synth arpeggios of some kind, more jagged vocal samples, and this synth pattern that I dig quite a bit. There's definitely a lot of progression to this track in particular that I dig a lot. Then we get to my least favorite track on the album, Minnesota, East Force, and Naked. This track sounds more like a kinda sorta noisy drone piece that isn't exactly fleshed out all that well. I have quite a few issues with how Blank Mask put this track together. It's not bad or anything, it's definitely pretty decent, but it doesn't really keep me engaged from beginning to end like every other track here, especially the track Hive Mind, which really does close the album off in spectacular fashion. It sounds like that this world eater that Blank Mask has conceived is rising up from its darkness and sees the light and sees all these plants that's about to devour completely whole. And as he's doing this, the way this track just builds and then climaxes and then builds again and climaxes feels like the earthlings or the martians that are looking up and seeing this thing that is going to completely destroy everything they know and love. There's definitely quite a bit of a juxtaposition to this whole gigantic leviathan like creature destroying everything but simultaneously sounding particularly triumphant in the process. So overall, yeah, I dig this thing a lot. It probably isn't going to be my favorite electronic album of the year since Miss Minnesota, East Force, and Naked leaves a lot to be desired. And I guess John Doe's Carnival of Air could have made the progression a little more seamless and particularly linear instead of just throwing the big moment like out of nowhere. Plus, it's too short for me even though it's 49 minutes long. I wish there was maybe two or three more tracks to what Blank Mass put out. But even then, there's just so much that Blank Mass throws into this one particular album that leaves me begging for more and more of what Blank Mass might do next, and maybe what Blank Mass has done before. If you're into IDM music, if you're into artists like One Art Tricks Point Never, like Apex Twin, maybe some Moby since there's some techno tendencies to what this album is doing, then you're definitely going to want to check this out because you'll definitely dig this quite a bit. Blank Mass definitely had a moment to make a fan out of someone that has never been familiar with his music, never been familiar with fuck buttons, and he definitely succeeded quite well. If this is going to be the Leviathan world eater that is going to consume everything I know and love, then I'm definitely going to be pleased with the ride. This album is a plus 2.4 out of plus 3. I wish maybe there was more tracks to this thing, and the tracks that were on here might have been fleshed out a little better, but that's really it. There's really nothing negative I can say about this album. But if you give this album a listen, what you think of it? Did you like this album? Did you just like this album? What was your reasoning for that, and what should I consider listening to and reviewing next? CW Music Reviews here, signing off.